Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm part of the Strategic Content Development Team at Blackbaud. Today we're taking a look at some of the new features available in our new Assessment Builder. If you're not familiar with assessments, they're a great way for you to evaluate students with tests and quizzes taken within the Education Management System. Let's start off in the Assessment Settings. In addition to randomizing questions, you now have the ability to randomize multiple choice answers. You can enable the option here in the assessment details or on individual questions once you start creating your assessment content. With the new builder, you can also allow students to resume an assessment independently. Previously, if a student selected close and exited their assessment without submitting, they had to contact their teacher to allow them back into the assessment, which they could then complete and submit. With this option enabled, students can select close, then resume their assessment without teacher intervention. Next, let's look at adding questions in the new builder. You now create a question by selecting add, then choosing the question type. Once a question is saved, you can create a copy of it and edit the copy. This is a real time saver if you're adding multiple similar questions to your assessment. Another addition to the new builder is the matching question type. You'll create a set of prompts with corresponding answers. Students then match each answer to the correct prompt. To make your matching questions a bit more challenging, you can add extra answers that don't have matching prompts. Next, we've added the ability to print. This is great for students with accommodations for taking their assessments on paper or having their assessments read aloud. You can print from the Builder, from the Assignment Center, or from the Class Assignments page. Printed assessments include name and date fields at the top, as well as all of the assessment content, including images and the introduction. Once students get into taking the assessment, we've added an autosave feature. Now students can take their assessments without having to repeatedly save or worry about maintaining an active session as they write lengthy essay responses. Additionally, teachers can now edit assessment questions once students have started taking the assessment. So if someone finds a typo or a wrong answer is marked correct, you can now go in and easily make the necessary corrections. And finally, we've made some changes to the evaluation process. In addition to comments on individual questions, you can now add a summary comment to provide feedback on a student's overall performance. Students will see the summary comment at the top of their graded assessment. Question comments are displayed beneath the question the comment applies to. And lastly, the evaluation page now includes a filter to show only questions awaiting evaluation. While all other question types are graded automatically, teachers have to manually score student responses to essay questions. You can mark this filter to quickly identify the essay questions that still need to be graded. For more information on assessments, check out our online help. You can access help by selecting the name menu and choosing Training Resources.